What's going on guys? Level M Diecast. Bringing you a haul today. Uh, some stuff I picked up the last few or so days. Um, with the exception of that uh, Route Master bus that came earlier in the week last week. Did post that up on my Instagram. Um, so I have these guys. Um, and I've had these guys. Um, the three spoke one is relatively new. But not showcasing these two guys. What I'm actually going to show is another wheel variation I just picked up. This is with the five dot wheels or whatever you want to call it. This guy. So I'm just going with my uh, Hot Wheels Racing display. So I got the five spokes, three spokes, and now those weird five dot dish hubs. I don't know what you want to call them. Something weird. So I figured I'd showcase that. Um, another thing I got, Hot Wheels Racing related. So I had these two guys. Uh, this is the Hot Wheels 500. So you have your black wall and then the updated one, which is darker blue with a new wheel. Um, but I actually found the darker blue one with the black walls. So a little hybrid between the two. Um, oh, there it is. So here's this guy. So he is the dark blue with the black walls. So here he is, and then here's the, the light blue. And this is the same dark blue as this guy. It's pretty cool. I like those weird variations, those weird kind of things. I'm starting to learn Hot Wheels has a ridiculous amount of those. Um, more than I thought that they do nowadays. Like back in the day, it was super, super crazy. Um, yes, I picked up more Hot Wheels. We're going to roll through these relatively quick. You guys know I like these Ultra Hots. That's the kind of the era I'm going for. This is a Zender Fact 4. I did not have a blue one. Got that guy. Um, since I have a bunch of Zenders, I decided to buy this one too in white. Um, I think I might have this one with the Ultra Hots. Um, I'd have to check though. Um, I got some other ones. Um, I got a couple of these Dark Rider series just because I like the wheels. Um, and just so you guys know, like all these Hot Wheels cars are a dollar. So one dollar. So you're never going to pass them up. I got this guy too. I'm pretty cool. Um, this one's pretty nice. It's 59 Cadillac. Um, I just got it because it looked kind of cool. Uh, the casting is super disproportionate but it looks it looks all right it's pretty cool in purple though i'm starting to i'm starting to have some old school hobbles really grow on me um you guys know i like the a50i um i have this guy loose but he's not mint but i found another one so obviously this one will be minty because he's in the package so that one will be good um i picked this up just because it's the ultra hots it's, it's it's a terrible casting uh, it's just old school fantasy. Old school fantasy. Um, also picked up another old school fantasy. Um, I have this guy with gold wire wheels, but I don't have this guy with the ultra hot. So pretty nice. Get that piece. Um, I have this guy with black walls, but not the ultra hots. And these are gold ultra hats. So it's pretty cool looking. It's pretty cool. Um, and then if you guys follow my Instagram... I posted this up, these uh, two Nissan Zs, it's a wheel variation. Um, I have one with the Ultra Hots, but they're silver. These are gold Ultra Hots and gold three spokes. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Now, oh, I got one more Hot Wheels. It's black wall, three window coupe. It's pretty cool. All right, now, also, if you guys follow my Instagram, I came across this. So this is Series 4. Um, you guys know this is the one that has the licensed vehicles in it. Um, this one obviously does not have any licensed vehicles. This is Micro City Police in Series 4. Take a look at the back. This is the one that has um, the GM collection, GM icons, um, and some other classic stuff. But it's just good to know that finally we get some new stuff moving forward. That's all that really matters to me. Um, haven't had any new micro machines forever. 
but that means that they completely squid slipped over mix three so i don't know um obviously i got some more loose stuff um i got a couple of these darter motor cars this is actual uh, uh night rider it's uh it's pretty dirty meat up but it's not bad i also got this guy this um f1 racer i'm not what you call it um the wings a little, little beat up a little beat up from the feet up but that's okay um i got this pretty sweet uh play art trans am uh he's even got his own uh spider web and whatnot inside that's what happens when you have old stuff you find old cars and stuff that have been sitting around for years um but this is a pretty nice piece there you go pretty cool pretty cool Hong Kong base. Pretty much all the stuff's gonna be Hong Kong base. Um, what else we got here? We got this Yacht Ming Corvette Racer. This thing's pretty sweet. Nice low slung. It's got metal base. Oop. 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 Really? Okay. Sorry. The car's like really thin. So there you go. Pretty nice Hong Kong base. See how low it sits? It's like really, really tiny. Gotta love suspension. It's pretty sweet. Um, also got this pretty nice Maserati. Uh, this guy's pretty beat up. He's got a cracked window too. But it's not it's not the end of the world beat up. Um, Maserati Bora. It's a pretty nice piece. I like this metal base. It's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. That one's a little that one's a little beat up. It's a little beat up. Uh, we got some cool stuff in here as well. So we got this guy. Uh, this Zilmex Porsche 935. He's in he's in okay shape. Stickers are uh, pretty much destroyed, but you know the model itself is in pretty good shape. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool piece. I especially like it, you know, because it's Porsche. You guys know I like Porsche. Throw that one right there. Um, I got one of these uh, Kidco lockups um, where you can lock the cars up. Unfortunately, he's missing all four tires, but the model itself is in fantastic shape. Uh, really good shape. It's got some some scratches on it, but you know, and some chips. But opening doors, you can see where the lock mechanism was. You actually lock the doors, so that's pretty cool. It's a pretty sweet piece. So. It's not bad. You know, missing the, the rubber is not that big a deal. I think I could find some new rubber at some point in time because the model's in really good shape. Really good shape. Uh, guy's not really... That guy's not really, like, case or, or screen worthy. There we go. I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, I did pick up um, some... An older Matchbox. I got this uh, wagon here. Uh, no, I did not spend five bucks for this guy. That's an old tag. Um, I got this for a dollar. So it's a transitional. It's a, it's a pretty nice piece. It still has the door and everything, but, uh, pretty good for somebody looking to customize or something like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously that piece would not stay with me. Um, speaking of Lesney, um, I got this, uh, drought excavator. Um, no no tracks or anything but it's in pretty good shape obviously doesn't have any tracks but it's all metal it's, it's pretty cool a little better for you guys to read uh, it's a little it's a little wonky it's a little wonky maybe i'm a little rusty with the videos who knows who knows all right now you guys know if i bought loose cars i got a bunch of hot wheels and i of course i got a bunch of hot wheels but uh, we're just going to flow through these real quick. Um, I got this good humor black wall. Uh, this guy's pretty, pretty dang good shape. I bought in a lot of these over the years. Um, this one's probably in the best shape. Um, still looking for a carded one so I could just be done with it. But, you know, it was, it was, it was like a buck. It was like a buck. Um, Ultra Hots. Got this guy who's in extremely good shape. Um, he does have one of the blasters on the hood there uh which is broken off but that's okay other than that he's in really really good shape and no i did not spend that money so all these are just a buck guys these are just just a dollar 
just a dollar. Uh, picked up this old school bus guy. It's because it's cool. Uh, Tampo's wearing off pretty good though. Um, obviously the body is all plastic and then the base is metal. So pretty sweet. Uh, picked up this MR2 uh, just because the wheels. He's in really good shape. He's not mint, but he is in really good shape. Um, as usual with these wheels, there's always some some bending of the axles, which is not that big a deal. Um, it's crazy how much the axles are bent and how good a shape the wheels are in. So, And the model just in general. Um, also got some... Um, um, the hot ones. I uh, got this Corvette. He's in pretty good shape. Not perfect, but he's in pretty good shape. Not bad. And then... What else we got here? We got this T-Bird Stalker. Um, the tempo's gone, obviously. But, you know, he's ultra hot. So, I'm sorry, it's a, uh, the hot one. So, I'm going to keep that guy. I also got uh, one of these crash cars. Actually, I got a couple of these. This one's a little little stiff. I need two hands for this guy. Um, but it does work. It is there. And then you just crash into him. Obviously, it's it's pretty beat up. It is Hong Kong based though. It's pretty nice. Uh, the other one I got is this. Um, I couldn't even tell you what this is. Yellow something. It just says Hong Kong, so I don't know what it's called. Uh, but you know this one still has the hood, which is a big deal because without the hood, like it doesn't hold the the crash part down. Uh, the hoods are almost always gone. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty novel idea that Hot Wheels had back in the day. It's not bad though. So uh, also got this uh, Camaro. This is from the convertibles. It's missing stuff. Um, but like there's a engine that pops out. Um, the convertibles were transformable. There's stuff you can add. Um, there's all kinds of attachment points and stuff. So it, he's missing a bunch of pieces. But other than that, it was it was pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I got this uh, old school Blackwall uh, van. Just because. I don't know. He's pretty beat up though. So pretty sweet. It, like I said, I paid a dollar for these. So that's super old price tag. Definitely couldn't have been $10 when it was in this condition. But price tag looks relatively new. So I don't know. I don't know. Set that guy to the side. Now, for you guys that are super aficionado of high-end die cast, you guys can uh, chime me in on some information on these. Um, I acquired a, a relatively decent sized Lamborghini collection today. Um, these were in there. This is your time model, 164 scale. Uh, they are in the uh, tarmac style of boxes. Uh, this one, they're both Aventadors. You got this guy, Liberty Walk. And then I also got this guy, which is the Red Bull. So I don't know, I don't know anything about time model. Um, and I don't know availability or where they were sold and all that good stuff. So, um, if you guys know some, please chime in, let me know. And then, uh, what else we got here? I think that's it. I think that's all I got. Oh, I did get, uh, I did get a couple of, uh, uh, a couple more stealths cause these are showing up at target. So I know it's not that great guys. I haven't really been uh pig hunting much because, uh, there's really no reason to go to the store right now. Um, however, um, I did hear from a lot of local friends that uh, the M case is showing up from Hot Wheels at um, Walmart. Also, the uh, uh, Boulevard series is showing up. I already put a video up for those Boulevard cars. So um, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. So unfortunately, not something too fancy, but uh, don't worry. I got more content coming from you for you guys this weekend, and uh, you'll like it. I promise. So anyways, we're going to roll out level M. Peace.